Hey guys, it's Shane from Jags Journeys. I'm here today at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in Hollywood. Now it's been several years since I've been here, but I absolutely love visiting the studios. Um, a lot of my favorite TV shows and yours too, and movies, have been filmed here over the years. I'm really excited to see the Big Bang Theory set. Last time I was here, they were actually uh, filming the Big Bang Theory, so it was a closed set. I believe that's now open, we can check it out. Um, some filming restrictions on today's tour. So there'll be a little bit of filming and uh, there'll be some photos that I'll have to add in because uh, photography is allowed in most of the tour today. By the way, I would recommend booking directly through these guys online uh, when you make your booking. You can book through a third party provider. However, if you need to make changes to your days of, of your visit, uh, it's a lot easier to do it directly through these guys. Anyway, let's go now and check it all out. So why don't you come along with me and join the journey. All right, so I've just arrived in here at Warner Brothers Studios in Hollywood, and I'm ready for the tour. And just upon entry, you will also have to go through a missile detectors uh, here at Warner Brothers Studios. That's pretty good. All right, just in the main foyer area, check out this display. This is pretty cool, old school, but awesome. So here in the foyer, the ticketing area is on the far side. Uh, the entry is over there, and that's the exit store. All right, first stop of the day, coffee. Hey guys, just want to give a really big shout out to the Hutchinsons. Thank you so much for buying me coffees this week. It was greatly appreciated. It really does help support my channel. And if anyone else would also like to buy me a coffee, just like they did, the link is in the description below. It's also on screen now. By buy me coffees, definitely helps me bring more videos just like this from places like this, straight to you. All right, here we are at the start of the Warner Brothers Studio Tour Hollywood. So when you first enter through, you come into this large room and there's all sorts of bits of information on the wall regarding television, movies, the history, the classics, animation. Got the Warner Brother water tower there. And there's also some um, mock-ups there of some of the studios. And then down here is actually the satellite uh, view, aerial view of the whole entire studio property, which looks pretty cool. So this part here is all completely new actually since the last time I was here. So this is uh, already a good start to the tour. All right, so the first part of the studio tour is we go into a cinema here and we watch a very short movie regarding all of the television series and movies that has been and are being filmed at Warner Brothers Studios Hollywood. And then essentially what happens is once that's finished, uh, all the different tour guides come in and take row by row and you go onto your tram and do the back lot tour. Now, unfortunately today they were doing a lot of filming there uh, and we actually were unable to take any video footage. Um, they made that very clear to everyone. No video footage of the back lot. Uh, you can take photos. So uh, I've just put in some photos now so you can see a little bit of the actual back lot tour uh, in terms of what you see. Um, one of the things I like to see was where they filmed Spider-Man, uh, the movie Annie, the Gremlins. That was pretty cool. And um, there's also uh, the original Gotham Hall and behind this building here where they're filming uh, a new series. I think it's called Philadelphia or something like that. Uh, but anyway, it's really cool studios to visit. The back lot is awesome. I uh, highly recommend uh, coming and checking this out. It is definitely worth it. Once this, is, uh, this part of the tour is finished, it's about an hour uh, through here. We've got to get off and walk around a little bit of... The back lot um, they have the original friends fountain here now the, originally it wasn't actually here on this property it was on Warner Ranch uh, down the road uh, that's now since been demolished for more studios so they've moved this friends fountain 
here to this site and this is the original friends fountain by the way uh, and these um, couple of buildings here are used in the last series of uh, young sheldon so if you've seen that uh, a couple of these buildings here are used in that so once the back lot uh, tour is actually finished you then go through and do a self-guided tour through the rest of uh, the building so you essentially get to see uh, sets from some of your favorite tv shows such as friends and big bang theory and there's lots of other costumes and props and then you get to go through the absolutely awesome uh, dc and harry potter part of the tour and again it's all self-guided so you can take as long as you absolutely want through there stay in the moment absorb everything take as many photos and as much video as you want in that part of this tour and again i would highly recommend this tour book directly through warner brothers studios online i think it was around about 69 us dollars but highly highly recommend it and uh, they gave us a, a hot tip try and go on the weekends because they're not filming in the weekends and you'll actually uh, get to see uh, a lot more of the back lot uh, through there. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of the tour. All right, so we just done the studio uh, back lot tour. Uh, obviously no video was allowed there, so we took some photos, put them into the video as well. Now we've got a self guided part of the tour, which we'll check out now. Now again, this part of the tour is self-guided and you can take as long as you want to stop and read and look at everything on the walls and on display. This is cool. So this is casting and screenwriting, just an example of how it would look. Now this Batman mask is screen worn by Michael Keaton in the 1992 Batman Returns movie. That is absolutely the real deal. That's pretty cool. Now this part's pretty cool. There's lots of different costumes in here that you can just take your time and have a look at. And there's a little sign with each one and uh, documentation on what movie or, or TV show uh, that these costumes were actually used in. And they are all screen used and worn by the actors. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Again, this is the real deal. It's not replicas. And I think that's what makes this tour uh, better than a lot of other ones, or at least definitely worth visiting. I mean, this one here, it was worn by Selena, the, the singer, and uh, in that movie as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, again, all legitimate screen used costumes, which just, again, blows my mind to think that all this is just right here in front of you and you can come and check it out. Here's an Elvis costume from the 2022 movie that was filmed in the Gold Coast. That's pretty cool because we've all seen that fairly recently at the movies and to think this has come from the Gold Coast because this was screen used during the filming of that in the Gold Coast. All right, we're about to go on to the actual central perk friends set this is the actual one that they actually filmed on and they've moved it into here and we can also get a photo uh, on the couch in the central perk pretty cool I mean this is what I love most about Warner Brothers studio tour in Hollywood is this friend set again is the original and not a replica i've been on the replica sets before but this is original i got my photo on the couch one of those things you just have to do when you're here at warner brothers studio tour in hollywood i got a lot of costumes in this part so um these are from like gangster films this is from the um, classic, classic days of making movies here at Warner Brothers. And these are from My Fair Lady, 1964. Crazy. 
And these are also from My Fair Lady as well. Of course, Audrey Hepburn. All right, uh, any guesses on where, in, where we're about to go next? We're literally about to go onto the Big Bang Theory set. This is awesome. And here it is. So this is the uh, cafeteria set. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. All right, here we are in the apartment from Big Bang Theory. This is pretty cool. So Sheldon sits there. I'll get a photo on there in just a moment as well, which I'll add into the video. But how cool is this? So essentially, once they finished filming Big Bang Theory, they bought this set in here, uh, put it back together again, and they assure me uh, that it is the exact set that these actors filmed on every single week. So uh, this is really, really cool to be actually here and actually see this. I, I cannot get over this. But uh, yeah, if you do watch the show, check out the background. You'll see exactly everything as it is here cool and obviously you got the elevator there and the steps which obviously don't actually go anywhere look like they do but they don't it's all just uh, trickery but how cool is this this is so cool and again this is the actual set this is not a recreation this is the actual actual set it's pretty cool this is penny's apartment penny 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 and there's the apartment for sheldon and leonard's apartment that's pretty cool isn't it to be here and to see this for real like, this is crazy And these are actual screen-worn costumes worn by Leonard and Penny. And again, these are actually screen-worn costumes worn by the actors in the show as well. That's pretty cool. So we're having a bit of a uh, tour around the apartment now, which is pretty cool. And again, this is the actual apartment, the actual set from the Big Bang Theory. Sheldon and Leonard's apartment right here and obviously we've got the apartments here next door penny's apartment broken lift and that's a doorway into this apartment which is movie magic is just here pretty cool it's actually amazing how small this all is so obviously with the camera angles they zoom out a bit and uh, the way that they make you think it all flows uh, it's just crazy isn't it so um yeah really awesome to check this out How cool is that to come here to Warner Brothers Studios in Hollywood to actually see the Big Bang Theory sets, to, to see the apartment, to see uh, the apartment, the broken lift, and also the uh, cafeteria as well that we saw, um, which is all pretty cool, which is just here as well. So this is pretty crazy. This is the sort of thing you can do over here. Um, incredible. Definitely worth a visit. All right, so this is the next part of the tour. And again, this is the self-guided part. So we did the studio back lot tour first uh, where they pointed out different scenes at different movies. And it's, it's a studio that's dressed for the movie. So it's fairly plain. Like they even take off all the doorknobs, um, street lamps, signage. And then that's pretty much so they can use that for anything that they want to design or any location that they want to design and their set dress pretty cool but because they were uh, doing some filming and whatnot um, there was no photos or video no video allowed at all on any of the back lot and there were some places we couldn't couldn't take photos either but definitely got some photos that I'll put into the video for you guys if not 
of Diffling Battlesphere on Instagram as well. By the way, they've got some green screen experiences here where you can put yourself on the Bat Pod bike, which is pretty cool. So there's the Bat Pod, and then when you get the green screen, that's what it looks like when you're on it. That's cut through. There's someone there on that one. I have done this before in my last visit here, and it is pretty cool. You get a USB uh, to take home with the filming footage on there. And you can also uh, fly on a broomstick as well, like Harry Potter. So you can take your own photos on the uh, Friends and the Big Bang Theory, but there is a professional photographer there as well. Um, and the, with the professional photographer, you actually get the, the best angle. So like where the TV camera would be on the TV show, so you get that angle. Whereas you take your own photo, you get a different angle. Uh, $25 for one printed photo, and $18 for any additional photos. They don't take cash here, it's part only, and but you do also get a digital download of those as well. So here's a uh, post-production examples in here, which you can go through and it's interactive as well. They do all the sound, everything like that as well for post-production. So again, you can spend as long as you want in here and take as much time as you want to go through all of this. It's pretty cool. And then you pretty much walk out here to the Central Perk coffee shop. And there's also a retail store here, which is awesome. We'll film that as well. And then you, you go back out, takes you on a little buggy, and takes you back to the beginning. I think there's an, some other costumes and props to look at before you exit. And this was actually the frontage they, they did actually use for the Central Perk as well. Um, that they've brought in here and put this uh, coffee bar in here. However, this cafe is actually a Starbucks to let you know. So if you're not a fond, if you're not fond of uh, Starbucks coffee, don't have it. That food does smell amazing. The coffee smells great, but um, I'm going somewhere else for lunch today. All right. Now they've made this store smaller, I'm sure, from the last time that I was here. Is I think the main store now has been moved, but essentially, um, yeah, actually this has changed a lot. This was a massive retail store originally. Now it's a lot smaller. Still looks pretty cool though. This is all new from the last time I was here, as far as this side. So essentially in here now is actually all friends. Merchandise is all about friends in here only. And the main store will be just as we leave. Here we are at the next stage of the self-guided tour and this is just awesome. This is the DC and the Harry Potter and Game of Thrones area. This is going to be awesome. Alright, so I know most of you that watch my channel love the Warner Brothers Movie World content. We are going to love all this. There's all the DC stuff in here first, then we'll head into Harry Potter. Um... Look at the latest, the actual latest Batmobile in there. We'll have a look at that in a second. Um, but we'll check out the props and costumes. All right, so we're looking at the latest Batmobile here. And this is the one they used in the movies. So the screen used. How awesome is that? That uh, is unbelievable. This is actually a massive vehicle too, by the way. It's just huge. Man, this now this is, so is one awesome car. And this is based off a 1970s Plymouth Barracuda. And I tell you what, it just looks mean as anything. And obviously especially designed 
to become the Batmobile. It just looks awesome. This is pretty crazy and also the um, costume is there as well. So this is the uh, 2022 Batman movie. And this is, again, the screen-worn costume worn by Robert Patterson for the 2022 movie. It's just so awesome to be this close to an actual screen-used Batman costume. And check out the interior of the car. It is just awesome. You can definitely tell this is the real deal. Now, it's one thing they do really well here in Hollywood is for all of these movies, or I guess most movies, when they're making a hero TV or movie car, they really customize it so it really does fit, I guess, the movie uh, theme or scenes uh, in the movie. And this car is just awesome. Check out the size of that motor. Unreal. That is absolutely insane. This Batmobile is crazy. Not as iconic as the originals, but anyway, this is the latest one. And... It's right here at Warner Brothers Studios Hollywood where it was filmed. And again, this, this is the actual vehicle. Screen used Batmobile. Screen used costumes right here. This is crazy. Again, this is why you come here. I know they have things like this at uh, Movie World. Like obviously if the Batman Legacy. This is the real deal. No replicas in here. Even all the detail inside the vehicle as well. That would have to be loud right there. Look, that motor's right. There's a massive motor, by the way. That is, geez, that's a massive motor. I don't even know how big that motor is. It's a bit bigger than a V8, I would say. This really is absolutely amazing to be standing here looking right in right now to the inside of the actual Batmobile uh, used in the last movie. And I also just found out that the motor in this is a Ford Triton V10. And again, in here, there's uh, other costumes as well that we'll have a closer look at from DC as well. But I'm just blown away by this. Again, just completely blown away by the latest Batmobile and costumes. Now let's check out the rest of the costumes. I can see Aquaman and Wonder Woman and Batman and Superman, Flash, and yes. Cyborg, I think. So anyway, we'll have a look. Let's check these out. And again, these aren't replicas. These are the real deal uh, screen used costumes. Shazam as well. We had these costumes at uh, Movie World a couple of years ago, a few years ago now. Wow, this is pretty cool. It is totally interactive. Pretty cool, though, I'll tell you. This is pretty cool. There is actually Superman capes up there. Again, screen, screen warm. Now this is from uh, Aquaman and then I believe when they had the sets at Movie World 
pretty sure this stuff here was actually at Movie World in the Gold Coast before it's ended up back here again, I think. Pretty sure. Pretty cool. You can actually touch that, that's pretty cool. That's kind of a, kind of a hard plastic. Ah, this is a really cool prop from Aquaman as well. That's crazy. And here's the uh, Robin costume from Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. It's pretty cool. Now this is the actual 1989 Batmobile. Not the replica like at Movie World, this is the one. Right here, or one of the ones they use, I guess. One of the screen used ones. How cool is that? That is so cool. And they've also got here from Batman vs Superman, the Batwing, Dawn of Justice. That is also really cool. And the good thing with all this stuff here, I mean, you probably can't see, oh, you might be able to see, in here, I call it, because these are screen used vehicles, the interiors are like exact. You know, obviously all the working lights and everything, it's unbelievable. This whole area is done to look like the Batcave. That's so cool. And there is a Bat Pod bike here as well. Alright, now they've got the Game of Thrones. There's some costumes and props here from, from that show. I haven't actually seen that series. I'm probably one of the few people that haven't seen it, but um, I know it is very, very popular. So it's pretty cool. So again, if you're really into the Game of Thrones, you, you can also see these original screen-worn costumes and there's props here as well. These are all real as well. It's probably hard to really see because it's reflective, but uh, all the awards in there definitely are real. I was here years ago. This is all a new part, but okay, they've still got the backdrop there. There was, yeah, you could actually um, hold one of those awards and they're really, really heavy. It was pretty cool. Maybe they, maybe they still do that. Maybe someone's just not there at the moment. some original costumes as well so this one's the Michael Keaton uh, Batman costume uh, 89 Batman that one there and then this one is also one of the original Superman costumes 1983 Christopher Reeve costumes and then of course Linda Carter Wonder Woman 75 to 79 this was that costume there pretty cool all original. Right now we're going to check out the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Alright, so just walking in, there it is. There's the Anglia out of the Harry Potter movies hanging from the roof. That just looks absolutely awesome. It's 
it's definitely the first thing you see as soon as you walk through here. And again, this part here is actually quite interactive, which is really cool. Something very different. There's a uh, set here as well. And this is cool. This is pretty cool. Again, this is a set, but wow, it's, it's amazing. I've actually never seen so many different kinds of like potion bottles and mad science type bottles around in one place all at once. And if you're looking for a magic wand, you definitely come to the right place. And in this part here, you can uh, have a go at getting the, uh, the sorting hat to tell you where you belong. Pretty cool. There's nothing hidden in your head the sorting hat can't see. So try me on and I will tell you where you ought to be. Brave at heart, daring, better be Gryffindor! <laughs> Pretty cool. And, oh yeah, this is another set you can have a look at in here. Again, there's uh, pretty cool experiences you can do here at the studio tour, which is really cool. So definitely worth checking it out. So this is a forced perspective photo opportunity. I'll drop in the photo that they took of me. But it really looks like you're grabbing the envelopes. It's pretty cool. And here's another one that's pretty cool. Let's check this out. And again, it's part of like a set here for Harry Potter. That's uh, Harry Potter's bedroom under the steps. Ah, it's not too bad. You can live in there. It's got everything you need. It's pretty good. Now check out the detail in this replica. This is absolutely incredible. All right, so now we're into the souvenir store at the end of the experience, which is massive, by the way. So I'm not gonna show you like everything shelf by shelf. I'm just gonna do a very quick walk through the store here just to give you an idea of how big it is. Hey, look, they've got Wizard of Oz merch. So this could be something that we might see at Warner Brothers Movie World when their shop opens. You never know, you just never know. So it'd be probably good to see a lot of this kind of thing there. Potentially. I think that'd go well. I think those are pretty cool. So it looks like it is separated by, I guess, TV show. So for example, Gilmore Girls, if you're into Gilmore Girls, it's obviously filmed here, all the merch is in one spot there. Uh, you got Ted Lasso, Game of Thrones. This is more Gilmore Girls. Uh, obviously more Friends product, because there's uh, heaps of Friends stuff. Obviously a very popular show, Big Bang Theory, of course. Which is really cool. It's really cool. Like a spirit jumper there too, which is really cool. Check out the, um, the counter area. It's massive. What a cool store. This is a very big store too, by the way. There's something in here for everyone of any age. Um, I just can't make my mind up on what I want. Uh, I'm obviously limited to what I can spend, but um, everything is just so awesome. And the range of Harry Potter merch in this part of the store is also unbelievable. There's so much to choose from, just from this one range as well. I just cannot get over how extensive the range is. I guess America just has the population, uh, so they can do a lot more with their product range 
So check out these Harry Potter actual screen worn costumes as well. This is just unreal. And again, I just cannot get over how much range is in here. It just keeps going and going. It is truly absolutely amazing. I tell you what, this is actually a really good deal. This jacket here was originally 275 US dollars. It's now just 69.99. 69.99 um, plus tax, of course. <laughs> but it's really cool. It's like a almost like a leather. It's like a soft leather. Got a patch on the back as well. So probably about a hundred bucks or thereabouts Australian, but that's about what you'd pay. It's pretty cool though. <laughs> I'll tell you, this store is just awesome. Imagine having a massive store like this at Movie World. That's what it needs. One massive, huge store. Rather than all those little stores, just to do one big store like this. It would make more sense. And the other little stores could all be a little food and you know all those specialty novelty foods and treats that's just my thoughts and quite a range of printed teas as well that's pretty cool and i really like the county area here particularly how the screens keep changing behind just adds so much more to the store so that's going to do it for my look today here at the warner brothers studio tour uh here in uh, burbank in california and I tell you what, I absolutely love this place. And I recommend doing this. Uh, it's like 60, six, maybe $69 US uh, per person. But I've been here for about three hours. And the tour goes for about an hour on the back lot. And then you've got a self-guided tour. And it's so cool. And as you would have seen on the video, there's just so many awesome things to see and do here. Interactive as well. Um, but everything you see here is real, so it's all screen used and actually was used on TV or movies. Um, so that's the cool thing about it. Um, even the Big Bang sets and the Friends sets, they're not recreations. Um, they are the sets that they've moved across uh, to use. So we get to come in and have our photos on those sets. So uh, anyway, it's all pretty cool. Um, I've been here, this is probably my third visit to this uh, studio and I absolutely love it. So. Again, I highly recommend doing this if you're coming over here to Los Angeles. Anyway, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a like. Please make sure you subscribe to Jake's Journeys. It, it keeps the journey going. Uh, also, don't forget, uh, with the Buy Me A Coffees, it doesn't just buy me a coffee. It actually supports my channel, and it actually helps me get to places like this to provide you guys with more video content, different video content from our usual Gold Coast theme parks, which we you know obviously we'll do a lot of that still. It's where we live, it's what we'll do. Uh, but the more we can get away and do other things like this for you guys as well, um, uh, hopefully it makes it better viewing for you guys. So uh, don't forget to support the channel. Uh, you can buy us a coffee or, or many coffees, however many you like. It is always greatly appreciated. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next journey.